My name is Randy Edmonds. I'm the MHA for Torrington Mountains. I'm Siobhan Cody. I'm the Minister of Natural Resources and responsible for the status of women. I represent St. John's West. My name is John Finn. I'm the member of the House Assembly for the district of Stephenville, port of port uh, and I actually also happen to be a proud uh, founding member uh, with the Halifu First Nation. The Moose High Campaign is, a, is an idea that stemmed from uh, a family in Northern BC a few years back, um, they were actually out moose hunting on uh, what's become now known as the Trail of Tears, Highway 16, where there were up to as many as 40 Aboriginal women that actually went missing along that trail. And they were uh, cleaning a moose and were inspired by the idea that they would start a moose hike campaign to bring awareness to uh, violence against women. I think in our legislature we're going to uh, convene uh, uh, early in the morning on Wednesday and um, we have an Inuit elder coming in to say a few words and uh, we're going to have a short breakfast and then we're going to fast. The whole idea of fasting is a sort of silent non-violent protest to bring awareness to violence against women from, from our legislature and then uh, We'll do a private member's resolution um, urging our government to uh, you know, further the cause of ending violence against women. Well, you know, actually, uh, I did fast once. Um, it was a 30-hour famine I believe we held back in high school. Um, certainly a very unique experience, and uh, I think it will provide a very unique opportunity for all members of the legislature to really feel um, if they're feeling a bit of hunger pain, it certainly again gives them a moment to pause and reflect on exactly why it is they're fasting. Therefore, be it resolved that this Honourable House encourages all members of the House of Assembly to support the Musai campaign and work towards ending violence against all women and girls in Newfoundland and Labrador. I guess the hope was that seeing in such an unusual pin a, a piece of tan moose it would spark conversation, it would generate interest, and it would focus on violence against women as an indigenous effort and an effort on, be on behalf of many in our communities. I think legislators and people who are involved in the House of Assembly, people who are involved in leadership roles everywhere in society have a very important role of continuing to raise this issue. You're seeing the Me Too movement, the Time's Up movement on social, um, on social networks really starting to drive that conversation. It's time, Mr. Speaker. I think the, uh, the uh, hashtag Time's Up says it all. It's time for us to really focus on violence against women. And I'm reminded, Mr. Speaker, of the story of Loretta Sanders. We have to be outraged. We have to be mobilized. We have to change something fundamental about the society that we all live in. One of the very first stories that I covered as a young journalist who was starting off was I was sent to the Supreme Court, the province, um, and I believe it, it was an Aboriginal woman who, who, was, who was killed and murdered, and her body was stuffed under a staircase by the man she was seeing. Treat your sons, teach your sons how to be good men in this world. The Moose Hide campaign really brought men into the conversation and really drives recognition amongst men in general, but in indigenous communities in particular. Just last week, we, we had a chance to stand down with Elder Calvin White, um, who was one of our newest recipients of the Order of Canada. And Calvin White uh, and Chief Lasaga sat down with, uh, with the member and I uh, for a great conversation around some of the good initiatives that they're doing. whether it's the opposition or the third party and the governing members, and you can debate on various subjects, but when you can all stand together with a unified voice, I think that really sends a message. Every time my daughter walks out the door, it's always one of my concerns. You know, what is she going to be faced in this world today? This morning when the elder spoke and talked about the impacts, when she said a prayer for us all, I mean, we were all united here. Politics is secondary to doing the right things, and this is a movement that does the right thing, makes proper awareness, but more importantly, and as my colleagues here have very eloquently talked about, finding ways that we prevent this from happening to anybody else. 
It's time that we stand up and be counted and put our words into action. I attended a vigil uh, last fall here in St. John's where they named out um, all of the Aboriginal or women that were murdered in our province since since 1700s, 1800s, and I think one they got into the later years, to the 1980s to 2000. I think what surprised me was the number of those names that were mentioned that were people I either grew up with or people that I knew. So I think this makes this issue uh, you know, personal to me and uh, one that I'd certainly like to carry forward. Mr. Speaker, we often talk about the time when uh, society didn't recognize women as the equal part of society. It took a lot of work, but we've got there. So why can't we do the same with this Moose Hide campaign? Thank you everyone for your support in pushing this BMR forward. Is it the pleasure of the House to adopt the motion? All those in favor of the motion? Yay. All those against? The motion is carried. I will be very pleased to reach out to my counterparts across the country and share with them the experience of today. I'm very proud to be a member of this House of Assembly with all of you today. And I would invite you, as you uh, participated this morning, I would now invite you to join me in the hallway and we will break the fast together. <laughs> I have three sisters and a mother, um, and I would hate to see in any instance that they were subject to any form of violence. I think for all men and boys, all men and boys. I think that they would want to have women's rights in short. They want to have women respect it. You know, think about your sister, your mother, your wife, your next door neighbor, your aunt. I'm urging everyone to get on board with this campaign. There's been over a million uh, Moose High campaigners that have, you know, taken on this cause and I'm hoping that by our getting behind this cause that it'll have a further impact in our province and the rest of the country. Too many women and girls in our society face violence, and a disproportionate number of those women and girls are Indigenous. We should do better, we can do better, and we will do better.